Hi, my name is Sam Kevill, Design Technologist and Advanced Revit Instructor at Santa Monica College. And here's why my Revit looks a little different from yours. The first thing I use is the Quick Access. This works really well for something like Dynamo or Dynamo Player that are hard because they're inside the Manage tab. You can put them up at the top and make them easily accessible. The other pieces of add-ins I use are, I use a sheet duplicator. This is the Cyber Studios Duplicate Sheets because it allows me to immediately create copies with shared parameters and any other uh, pre-configuration that I want. And it allows me to duplicate sheets with the views for something like enlarged plans. The next piece that I'll use is this Revit T views. Revit T views gives you a, an out of the box functionality that you don't get for detail components and detail lines. They don't allow you to select all instances visible in view unless you use the select all instances part of Revit T that overrides the user interface and allows you to immediately select all. Other pieces that are important are the site designer tool. This allows you to create topography if you're working on a large site through floors, which are very easy to modify with the modify sub elements command. So you can create a dynamically unique floor with sloping and then using the site designer topo surface conversion tool, you can pick that surface and it will immediately create a very, very difficult to uh, manually create floor. The other tool that I think is important for people to start getting used to is Pi Revit. Pi Revit has a lot of tools in it. I will go over uh, in a different video, but I want you to know how important these are. They're they take what's available inside Dynamo or Dynamo Player, and they're coded into buttons so they're very easily accessible. Make patterns, renumber, there are sheet tools, revision tools, and a keynote management tool. Keynotes are very important to Revit, and if you're not going to use the free keynote management inside of PyRevit, I recommend and I use the Revolution Design Keynote Manager. This allows you to visually and graphically add new keynotes to the keynote file and then to assign them to content, giving the content a high value of information at a very early stage in architecture. The only other tool that I use all day, every day in my normal workflow is Juan Osborne Transfer Single. This allows you to, this works a little better than the built-in transfer project standards button and allows you to move individual uh, pieces of categories like a single parameter versus an entire uh, category of parameters from one project to another. And that's it. Those are my favorite that I use every day and thank you for watching. I'll have more on each tool later.